the this array formula in cell range F9 to H10 lets you look for values in a column each and I have uh, the values here up here so the formula looks for security B in this column here and it looks for this date here in this column here so if both this value and this value is found on a row the this the entire record is returned and you can see that the formula has found two records and the first record is this one here and the second record is probably this one so how does this formula work it uses the counter function to check if a value is found and I'm going to type equal sign and a count if function and then I'm going to use not the range here but the value I'm looking for and in this case it's this value and then in the criteria argument I'm going to use a cell range like this and an ending parenthesis and then press and hold control shift and press enter to build an array formula and now I need to extend it because it shows uh, so it shows all the values in this array then click in formula bar and press ctrl shift and enter once again and now you can see the entire array and if this value is found it returns 1 and if it's not found it returns 0 and it's found here and here and here and here and then the next search value so count if again and the search value and the range and in this case it's this cell range here and now let's see what the formula returns and it returns one here and one here and now we know the rows that the records that have both this value and this value so to you can combine these two formulas and I'm going to copy them and multiply them so the array returns one if both arrays return one and zero if there's only one one <laughs> or two zeros and now the array looks like this and you can also do this with the count ifs function and the count ifs function allows you to have multiple er conditions and I'll show you quickly 
criteria range. And then this and this cell range and in parentheses and this array should be the same as this array here. And it is. And now I need to return the corresponding row for this cell range here. So this cell range here begins with row num 1 and then 2 and so on. And I need to build this as an array. And to do that, use the match function and then the row function and then this cell range here. Comma row again, this cell range again, and then ending parentheses. And now we have the same row numbers as this column here. Now I can use the if function to return the corresponding row number if this array here uh, is 1 and a blank if it is 0. And I'm going to copy this. No, I'm going to copy this. And then if function and the logical expression are these two countifs functions. And then comma and the value, the row number I want. So I'm going to copy the formula for rows and if it is false the logical expression I want it to return a blank and an ending parenthesis and now enter this as an array formula hold control and shift and press enter and then extend the array formula so it shows all the values in the array and now you can see that the records we are looking for are in row 2 and row 6. 2 and row 6. And the small function lets you extract the smallest the value in an array and the second smallest and so on. And now I need that formula. Copy it and paste it in the first argument and then a comma and now I'm going to use the rows function to extract the smallest row number in the first cell a1 colon a1 ending parenthesis and an ending parenthesis again and the first part of this cell reference uh, has to be absolute so click on that and then click on function key f4 so when you copy this formula the this cell range here expands so in the first cell it returns one and in the next cell it returns two and so on so this means that the small function returns the smallest function and then the second smallest and the third smallest and so on so now enter this as an array formula and then copy this formula and you can do that by selecting the cell and then use the shortcut keys control and c and then paste it to for cells below or you can And I found an error here. I need to use absolute cell references here. They will change it when I copy this formula. And I don't want that. Only this, the second part of this cell reference may change. 
and what I wanted to show you was that if you click and hold on this black dot here in this corner of the cell and then drag it down you copy the formula to cells below and now you can see that the formula returns row number two in the first cell and row number six in the second cell and then there are no more numbers in this array and then I can use the index function to get the values I'm looking for and I'm going to use the entire cell range here and then comma and then paste the formula in the second argument and this formula returns the row numbers and the third argument is the column number so I'm going to use the columns a1 a1 and the first part here needs to be an absolute cell reference so this will also expand when you copy this formula to cells next to this cell and then copy this and then copy it to cells below and and there is something wrong with this formula it should be a1 here so it returns the first the smallest value in the array and now copy this and then copy it to cells below and here it is the same values as here 